All right guys, welcome back to another video here on Grind Season Outdoors. Today we're going to be fishing another tournament on Pool 10. Uh, we're taking off out of Prairie Duchene and my plan right now is to lock up, go to my my uh, favorite place in the world, Pool 9, Mississippi River. So um, I'm going to have Spencer, Spencer Bullman is going to be joining me today and he's going to be the one that's uh, going to generate a few big bites off the back of the boat to help clutch out a win. Um, you know, Spencer and I, we go way back all the way to fishing high school tournaments together, and we kind of used to act like we knew what we were doing. We really didn't. Um, we've come a long way since then. So I was finally able to get in the boat with Spencer in a tournament last year and uh, really kind of turn around our, our bad luck streak as far as tournaments go and we cashed a solid check so hopefully we can do something similar tomorrow um but the main thing is you know spencer and i want to just get out there together catch up haven't been fishing yet together this year so i uh, want to get out there and have a good day now uh, i do have a little bit of bad news to share with you guys um we ha we got some tragic news last week i was fishing uh the second bfl on sunday and I got a phone call that my grandpa um, was in the hospital and basically what happened, um, to make a long story short, he had several strokes and um, basically it's about as bad as it can get. You know, it's been about a week now since that happened and I've been spending a lot of time with my family in the hospital and doing all that and we're just kind of getting ready to say goodbye to my grandpa. Um, but I think that my grandpa would have wanted all of us to keep having fun. My grandpa was all about having a great time. And uh, he built our family's boat dealership, Upper Iowa Marine, um, into what it is today. He, he spent a lot of his life, most of his life in a band, um, several different bands, but he's always just been the most positive guy, the nicest guy that anyone's ever met. Um, and it, it's really gonna hurt to lose him, but at the same time, he's he's uh, raised a family and grew a family that is, you know, one of the best families around, and I'm lucky to be a part of it. So I just wanted to, you know, let you guys know a little bit about that situation, and um, give my grandpa a little bit of credit for all the stuff that he's done for me and for our family. He, uh, he's the one that got me out on the Mississippi for the first few times of my life and um, obviously with the with the boat dealership and um, that whole way of life it's kind of what's allowed me to do what I what I do and um, I definitely wouldn't be where I'm at and I wouldn't be the person I am today without my grandpa so I'm gonna miss him a lot we're all gonna miss him and we're gonna dedicate this tournament to him so Hopefully we can go frickin' win this son of a gun because I know uh, my grandpa doesn't want me to be, you know, getting dead last. So we're gonna go give it hell tomorrow. But the main thing is we're just gonna have fun, guys. It's fishing. Win or lose, it sure beats the hell out of a lot of other things you could be doing. So we're gonna get out there and give it all we got. Um, Jared's gonna be fishing tomorrow, so kind of a little side pot against him or a little side competition. Um, but we're going to get after it in the morning and hopefully we can go out there and make Grandpa proud. All right, folks, we're out here getting the boat all ready to put in. First club tournament of the year out of Pool 10. Um, Looks like there's gonna be a decent amount of boats here. I'm, few, I'm sure a few more will uh, show up, but I got Spencer down there doing some last minute rigging. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna kind of scramble, get up to pool nine, our home waters, and see what we can do. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can find a few of the right bites today and come back with a good bag and see if we can't win this thing. But yeah, we're gonna finish getting everything put in. Maybe go try to find Jared and start doing some shit talking. Good morning.
How's it going? <laughs> we need a head start. <laughs> Slower than you. They're probably getting close to your guys' number right now. Yeah. That is a freaking good. Oh, ah! all, right, all right, good largey. That's that's like a three and a quarter, I bet. Where do you got it? Oh, that's that's beautiful. Yep, that's how you hook them right there. Boys. Good job, dude. That was the bonus one that I needed from you. Know, all right, I'll do my job. He, I don't think he's three and a quarter, but he's two oh, and a half. I bet he's. You think so? I bet he's close to three at least. He's all two and a half, but I'm always sun walling. I've caught a lot of fish. If you could make those four things soft and then try and make the body a little more durable, I don't know if that is a possibility, but... Yeah, that's honestly probably the best thing to do because the, the body is always what, like, starts to fall apart on you, you know? Right. Can you imagine Andy Summerfell working this bank? Oh my god. He'd probably be going about the quarter of the speed we are. Sorry, sir. He like tried jumping when I pulled okay. him. Okay. All good. All right. Good job. He should. He should keep. Yeah. Again, not a. Not a big, not a big one. But he should keep. Yeah, he's pretty long. Yeah. Well, like I said, if we can just get a limit here, I guess that'll work too. Yeah, he's over 15. Yeah. At the end of the day, we should be able to get. 
Beaver Dam over there. I know, that thing is massive. They just keep making it bigger like by the day. I was here last weekend and it was like half that size. I've got great memories from Beaver Dams. I know. Here we go. Big and dude. That's what we like. Right here, right here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold oh, under the boat, under the boat, under the boat. That's a freaking pig. Oh my god, that one's over four. All right. We're in. He was barely hooked too, dude. Oh, good stuff. Oh, let's go. Good stuff. Dude, that's what I'm freaking talking about. Yes. <laughs> yeah. mm. Throw him on the big side. He's staying. We got to do it while we got a couple already in the box. Big one? Uh, no. Yeah, you'll be a keeper. Here, I'll nut him for you. Should be a keeper. Pretty close. Yeah, well, he's kind of thick, but he's not pissing uh, for not very long. I mean, he looks like he should be at least a 14. I don't know. I don't think he'll keep, but I'll, I'll bump him. Bye bye. That's our fifth keeper. Okay. And if we can just get two more big ones, I'd be all right with weighing this one. He's not bad. Thick little guy. Yeah, I'm sure it's a really sick in the number. <laughs> Digging? I don't know yet. Oh, oh. yeah. Oh, yeah, buddy. That small mouth. We're calling fish now, boys. Come on. Spencer. <laughs> That's a big one. Let's, okay. let's double check and make sure that. Weigh in. We'll just look at them. Here, I'll put this on the big side first. Yeah. See if they pass the eye test. Yeah. Okay. So here's your small mouth. Oh, no, that's a large mouth. That is going to be close, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be very close. Just he's, hold, hang on to that. He's longer. I don't know. It's gonna be close, close. Smallie wins. Yeah, just by a hair, it looks like. Yeah, he looks bigger too. Okay. So now the small mouth is our smallest. It helps so much, dude. If we can get rid of one more fish now. It's gonna take that big of a bag. Really hard to say. I'm just scared that there's. I'm always scared there's someone that's just on them better than us, you know? Yeah. Well, because story says that that's how it's always been, but 
You never know. Sometimes blind squirrels do find nuts. I mean, sooner or later, we got to get a win. Yeah. It's only fought, a matter of time. Fought way too hard not to get one here. We're going to do it today, too. Dude, we're we're in position right now. We got one one little scratcher in there, and if, if we can get rid of him with a big one, we are going to be... We are going to have a bag. Colin, Colin, Colin. Big? Nice one, nice one, nice one, nice one. Okay, go. Oh, my God, Spencer. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's do it. Come on. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's staying down. He's staying yeah, keep down. Yeah, keep Oh! <laughs> Let's go! Oh, that's the one we needed. That's the one we needed. <laughs> okay. Yes. All right. Now we got to start weighing <laughs> shit. <laughs> no, we, we know this one's the next smallest now. Okay. Yeah. Um, Gosh, okay, we don't have to wait. <laughs> That's a little bit of an upgrade. Oh change. my, look at the freaking gut. That changes things. Dude. That changes ah. things. My gosh. All right, let's catch another one. We'll worry about it later. <laughs> Dude, let's go. Yes. Yeah, baby. Done, big dog. I'll be right behind you. This looks hella good compared to what it did the other day. There's just a little bit too much water on this rock. You can just like barely see it. There's a bunch of current blowing over it. Now there's like no current. The rock is like tickling the surface. It's a bass, dude. It's huge. It is. It is. It is. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Got him, got him. Oh! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, baby. Oh Whoa! my gosh. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Let's go! What a day! What a day! Oh my gosh! All right, all right. baby! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! What a clutch stop, dude! Oh my goodness! I don't I have no idea what fishes are smallest now. <laughs> Let's catch another one. We'll worry about it. <laughs> Holy! Look at my burrito. <laughs> get a chance to finish it. Dude, my line was just swimming sideways and I just set the hook and I'm like, oh my god, if that's a bass, dude. I'm like, if that's a bass, that is a freaking toad. It looks like a freaking huge sheep head or something. <laughs> that's insane. Can you believe that? We have a shit pile for a bag. <laughs> dude, we got like, with that fish, dude, we have like 18 pounds. Yeah. Oh my god, this is... This is literally like best tournament I've ever had in my life. <laughs> oh, oh my god. 
goodness. I can't even tell you how freaking sweet that is. <laughs> Shitting a breath. <laughs> dude, how did that even happen? <laughs> I love this. Oh man, that is a horse. All oh, they've been horses all day, <laughs> just all day long. Just horse, horse, horse. Hey, can we outdo each other? Here's another one. Let's go, dude. Oh, oh my gosh, God. this is freaking amazing. I don't know if we're gonna get beat now. <laughs> I'm gonna be damn surprised. You better call it Cade. I'm gonna fish this little section right here out quick and then I'm gonna give her a call. What I actually should do, Spencer, once Crank I get bait. to the end of this, instead of hitting all these dinky rock piles, I should just. Begging, begging. Where's the. Got him, got him, I got him. That's gonna help. Dude, that's he's... gotta help. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. You... Look at that. I don't know if that's gonna help. I think he will. He's gotta replace something he has. <sighs> he's fat, dude. He's, he's gonna replace something. He has to. I mean, he's over three. Dude, I can't even get my freaking stuff in the box. So we gotta pull that signal cord. I don't know if you remember that. But yeah, it's on the ladder. Right, right, yeah, right below where that sign's at. Yeah. Okay. Just pull it down as hard as you can, and it should make a horn come on when you pull it. Yeah. What time do we got? 220. 220. <laughs> enough time to catch a hog on a frog. Ready with the net? Yep. Not a big hit. Yep. Not enough to upgrade. I don't think it's gonna upgrade. Nice job. Yeah, it's not it's gonna help. <laughs> first cast. Literally the first cast. Not a frog. What a little bonus one. Well, that's fun. We're not gonna upgrade, that's the next best thing. Catching him on a frog. You ready? Yep.
you guys just seen was the best day of fishing that I've ever had in my life. Um, might not have been the biggest bag I've ever caught altogether, but um, the way that everything just came together and we caught the biggest bag we've ever caught in a tournament. Um, Spencer and I ended up getting the win with 17, over 17 and a half pounds. And you know, it, it couldn't have happened at a better time. Um, I'm just now filming this. Um, it's about a week and a half after the tournament got over with. Um, there was a lot going on uh, the day of the tournament there, but a lot of emotions. Um, it's really hard to bring the way that we were feeling through the camera, but uh, it was a really rough week on our family, and last week was also very rough on us. Um, when I made the video, it was my birthday, so we got the win on my birthday. Um, I went right back up to the hospital after we got off the water and got to go and tell my grandpa um, that I won a tournament. I won it for him and my grandpa ended up passing away the next morning um, on May 29th. So, you know, every, every year on my birthday on the 28th, I'm gonna have some really good memories to go back and, and think about thanks to the day that we had out there and we definitely really needed that. My whole family needed that. So it couldn't have happened at a better time. Um, the stars just kind of aligned and we ended up getting it done. So this one means a whole lot to me. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and uh, man, hopefully we can keep the ball rolling like this. Hopefully there's a lot more first place finishes to come. The next tournament coming up for me is gonna be at Winnicani over in Wisconsin. Uh, it's a BFL, so Hopefully we can keep this momentum going into that tournament. I already got a solid start to the year and if I can have a solid tournament over there um, It's gonna definitely be good. So thanks for watching this one guys. I hope you enjoyed it I know this one means more to me than probably any of the other videos that I have and I can't wait to go back and watch this one over and over again for the rest of my life, but it's one that I'm never gonna forget and Like I said, we uh made grandpa proud on this one dedicated this one to him and it couldn't have worked out any better so i wish you guys the best keep checking back in for more content here on grind season outdoors thanks for watching guys